Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Shantrina's back at it with another video about hair stuff. You know how in my hair dyeing video I kind of ran out of hair dye when it came to my roots? They look in a hot mess. Look at this. This is thankfully it gets covered by my my fro, but um yeah, I'm gonna fix that today because I'm tired of not being able to wear a puff because the front of my hair looks a hot mess, but the back of my hair is still doing pretty good, um, which is cool, but I'm still gonna use it all over my head. So they were nice enough to send me a couple different things. I got the Overtone Vibrant Purple, and um, that's what that looks like. It's really nice. Then I have the Overtone Extreme Purple. A lot darker. I'm gonna be using this on my roots probably. And then I have the Overtone Extreme Pink. Super pretty, very pink. So those are the products that I'm gonna be using today. They also sent me some daily conditioners and um, they're just about the same color. I have the, they're just about the same color. I have the Extreme Pink Daily Conditioner and then I have the Extreme Purple Daily Conditioner. So the thing about Overtone, Overtone is like hair dye but it's a more it's a safer version of hair dye so if you're already blonde this would be an amazing dye to use because it's basically a conditioner mixed with the hair dye all in one so they have a regular conditioner then they have um, deep conditioner treatments today I'm gonna be using the deep treatment because um, I don't know I just feel like I want to use a deep treatment so I'm gonna use a deep treatment also when I smelt the conditioner it smells very minty. It smells like tea tree or some type of mint. Um, I'm not sure if that's because in the ingredients it has mint. I haven't even really checked the ingredients. Oh yeah, okay. In the ingredients it does list spearmint leaf oil and yeah, I can really smell it. It's very minty, which is gonna be pretty cool on my hair. I wonder if it's gonna tingle. Pretty excited. Yee. Pretty excited about that. So I'm just happy that I'm gonna be able to fix my freaking hair because I haven't been able to buy any hair dye. So I've been running around with jacked up roots and I'm not trying to look jacked up, okay? Like I want my hair to look nice all the way through. So this is my before. Um, mainly, my main issues, um, the front of my hair because it is very, very light compared to the rest of my hair. So my hair has faded so much in the last couple days, it was definitely time for a touch up. And ombre hair is kind of the hardest hair color to maintain because when you're reapplying it, you have to literally go through the whole process of separating your hair, doing the roots first, and then the middle of your hair. I'm like kicking myself because I should have not <laughs> did an ombre, I should have just did one color. Doing one color is so much easier, you guys. I'm like over here crying. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and go through, do the same process as I did before with dyeing my hair. If you want to see that video, go ahead and click the link in the description box. It'll have um, my process from the beginning of hair bleaching to dyeing it the first time. And this is me dyeing it another time because my hair has faded so much. So yeah. And yeah, I'm starting off with that first overtone purple shade. This one was the darker purple that I started off with. And just using that on my roots, I ended up making it go down a little bit further than I wanted it to um, initially, but that is because I couldn't find my tinting brush. Like after I dyed it the first time, I don't know where the heck I put my tinting brush, but I can't find it. So I had to use my hands and I don't really mind using my hands, but it's a little less accurate. So I ended up going a lot further down with the darker color for my ombre than I wanted to. But as you guys know, I am pretty positive about <laughs> my hair color experiences. And honestly, you can make anything look nice as long as you have the right attitude, right? So I couldn't see behind me this time. Usually I'll have like a mirror or something or I'll use my camera to see behind me. But this time I was just like freehand in it. I was like, you know what? I was a little overconfident, you know, a little, a little too confident, uh, a little too cocky this time around. And I mean, it still looks really good, um, but if you're a beginner and you're trying to do something like this, use a mirror so you can see behind you, um, ask someone else for help. It, however much help you can get, grab it because it would be very helpful. I'm also covering up some of the pink streaks that I did last time because 
I didn't get my hair light enough to go as pink as I wanted it to be, but that's fine. I will eventually be fading this color out anyway. I just wanted to do a little retouch so I can see what my hair looks like when it's straightened. If you guys want to see a straightening video, that one should be out pretty soon. Just give me some more time and I'll have that ready for you guys. And this is literally just from using the deep conditioner and shampooing it out. Let me know if you guys wanna see a hair straightening video. I did record it this time, so I'm already prepared. It's already ready to go. Just leave me a like, leave me a like on this video. If I get a thousand likes, then I'll post the hair straightening video. But you gotta let me know if you wanna see it. So leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much Overtone for sending me these products. I. I think they work pretty good. Um, you would need to have pre-lightened hair to use them, or if you just wanted to do like a rinse or something, this is like a healthier alternative. I will say though that uh, my hair felt pretty okay, but I do have other deep conditioners that I like more than this one. So this would be just like a, a healthier hair dye for me. I wouldn't probably use this to just deep condition my hair, um, just to let you guys know about that. But I'd probably give them like a four out of five. It does what it says it's gonna do. It dyes your hair, it conditions your hair, but I would go in after this and use a better deep conditioner because I do have some that I like a lot better that are a little bit better for curly hair. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.